Let's talk about function scope now and how this differs when we use arrow functions. Let's say whether we have a name variable in the kind of global scope or within the scope of a method, perhaps within a class inside of here, and that just represents a name. Let's go ahead and create out a greet function in here, like so. And let's go ahead and return, say, hey, and then we'll concatenate on that name in here. Now, if you have worked with PHP for a while, you'll know that when we try and invoke this, that name uh, variable just here won't be available in the scope of this particular function. So if we come over and give this a refresh, we get an undefined variable name. Now, there's a couple of ways to get around this. We could, of course, accept the name into here. So we could say greet name. That'd probably be the most sensible way to deal with this. But you also have, uh, particularly when you are working with functions like array map, as we've already looked at, you sometimes just want to bring a variable outside of the scope of a closure or anonymous function into that scope. And for this, we use the use keyword and we pass in a list of variables that we want to bring into the scope of this closure. So now just with that change, you can see we get exactly the same thing. Now let's take a look at what happens when we use an arrow function here. So I'm going to switch this over to an arrow function. So all we need to do is again, take the return value of this, get rid of the return statement here, get rid of the block and replace that out with an arrow. Now inside of an arrow function, the scope here is global. So we can actually automatically read from things that are within the current scope of this that we're defining out. So if I give that a refresh, sure enough, we don't need to go ahead and use that use keyword. In fact, doing so will cause a syntax error because we don't need to do that when we're working with arrow functions. So not only has an arrow function made a really simple function like this shorter, it also means that we don't need to use that use keyword to bring things that are potentially outside of the scope of a function into the scope so we can use them.